you guys, as you can see down here, we're just into the water right now. We're gonna get a couple more photos and uh, look for some gold nuggets. Hopefully, we find some guys. Bless us, bless us, guys. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. So hmm, let's do it. All right, you guys, what is going on? My name is Catman Vlogs or Catman Joe or Joe. Welcome back to another brand new vlog, another brand new video, guys, on the channel. My God, that sun is beautiful, guys. Today we're back with another random, kind of different vlog. Uh, as you guys know, we do kind of in between every island episode. Um, of us building our survival island uh, when I'm going to a different place uh, last time we actually went and discovered or we went and explored an abandoned castle you should go check out video by the way if you haven't already it was a really 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 funny and good video and um, today though guys we're going to be exploring a place called Mega Dam now we're going to not just be there we're going to be going up some areas lock Mega Dam all these kind of places are related to Scotland and Scotland kind of heritage and um, they're very 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 iconic places in Scotland um, they're not too far from where we stay, we still stay a little bit further away from them, but uh, we're actually there today. We're currently right now just down um, there's a little bit of water, I don't know the actual name. Um, but where I am right now is really special to my dad, which is why we're here, because this is specifically where my dad kind of grew up. And, oh, your dad grew up in the water? Yeah, my dad's a fish. No, nah, but in all seriousness, he actually, um, he, his father and his mother uh, and his brother and sisters all kind of like came camping here for months at a time. And they stayed in tents here and fished here and basically lived here in general. Um, for you know years and years and years and my dad in his 20s and everything came here with his friends his name's actually still scribbled into this kind of like this little hut uh, back there you might be able to see and his name's actually still scribbled into that because that's been there for like 20 years so before I was born he was here with his friends and he's actually got his initials and stuff in there so it's, it's, it's incredible it's a lot of history here but yeah today we're just here real quick just get a few views a few pictures and stuff probably gonna come back here and go to the, do some swimming I've already seen some people in cars sorry if the wind is interfering with my uh, speech but I've already seen some people in cars I'm sure you can probably tell behind me right there and um, they're taking canoes or taking dinghies or just taking everything everybody's going a jet skis as well we've seen a guy with that in the back of his pickup everybody is going today out in the sun it is glorious apparently it's gonna be a fortnight two weeks more of sunshine in the United Kingdom in Scotland which is just totally rare guys so yeah we're gonna try and make the most out of it my dad's over there Say hi. <laughs> there's my dad <laughs> Um, he's over there waiting by the car because we're just about to head up towards the St Mary's Lock and then up towards Mega Dam. I'm going to show you guys all of it. Um, but you guys, if you love Scottish, I guess, like views, if you love in general nature and amazing kind of things, this is going to be the vlog for you guys because today we're going to explore some really amazing and beautiful places. So yeah, guys, anyway, well, I said, welcome back to another brand new vlog. Welcome back to another brand new video. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so that is us now, right now, at the Megat Reservoir or the Megat Dam. Now this is a massive dam, and I mean guys, genuinely, you're going to see it in a second. This thing is huge, huge, huge. Now, I'm currently outside, I've just parked up right there, this car behind us. Uh, I've currently got a little uh, water bag, I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Uh, I guess you guys probably can. Uh, we've got a little kind of water bag, because in this heat right now, guys, apparently Hol uh, Holland, uh, Scotland is getting hit with 30 degree heat, which, um, for anybody who doesn't stay in Holland, uh, Holland, uh, I keep saying Holland, anybody who doesn't stay in, uh, stay in Scotland or the United Kingdom in general will know um, or it won't know even for anybody who doesn't stay in the United Kingdom. Um, 30 degree heat is too much. Um, it's not too much, it's lovely. We love it. Scottish people, everybody loves it, I guess. The heat, I mean, to a certain extent. I've already heard some people already complaining about how the heat's still here and they want to be gone. Uh, when it's like it's just kind of got here, it's almost like. But in general, guys, what I mean is like 30 degree heat for people in Scotland is just crazy. It's just that hot that it can really cook you real bad, unless you're like my dad, where he just kind of adds his tan on and on and on. But let me just show you guys this in a second. So I'm just walking towards this right now. This thing, genuinely, guys, and I mean this, it is, it is just beyond the word massive. It is insane. It is. It's all made for. It's all made by man. This was made. When was this made? It's got all this stuff here. Look, there's holes under the ground. There's that bit in the middle there. Uh huh. Look, see it's empty. Yeah, yeah I can see it. Oh, the whole thing. Look. Oh yeah, you can see everything right, right, right here, guys. It says damming the stream. A 64 million question. This thing costs 64 million to build, but you guys can see right there. There is the reservoir. Yeah, this supplies the water pretty much all over, basically, like everywhere, basically, right. And uh, again, there you guys can probably see the reservoir right there. 
And uh, this right now probably isn't give you guys the best view, so I'm gonna switch cameras. I'm gonna switch the camera around in a second and show you guys this thing, like just straight up from me holding the camera forward and show you guys a drop on the other side because this is a dam. So it means obviously the water here is getting held up, but over there it obviously is gonna drop a lot. I'm gonna show you guys that. It is a massive climb coming up here in the car was unbelievable. It was the strain was crazy, but yeah, let me just uh, show you guys how this thing looks on the other side. So guys, we're still just currently walking down to the other side of the uh, reservoir. This, my dad kind of pointed out, this must be about a mile long. Not even joking, there's a car and stuff all the way, way down there. You guys probably can see it. Oh, a minimum of a mile, but we're just walking down. As you guys can see, there's a big mountain right here at the kind of edge of it. We're going to actually walk down there and see if we can see any gold. I know it sounds kind of like crazy, but um, there is gold in the UK. But the thing is, right here actually, there was apparently there was a fact of someone finding an actual gold nugget or something here. A kilo gold nugget. Um, it was I don't know where about it was, but it was here. Yeah, yeah, so up in the hole. So you never know. I mean, we're just, we're not exactly expecting to find it. We're just going to have a look. We might as well spend some time doing that. But uh, we're also just going down here because there's kind of like a weird kind of, I don't want to say a mysterious thing about this, but right. So these doors, you might be able to see it right in there. There's a, you know, two doors there. There is two doors down there, right? Now, my dad's told me this ever since we first came here years ago. And it's idea, apparently these doors, right, when they were getting built, this entire mountain and reservoir and stuff, there was military grade trucks going in and out of these doors, like big barrack kind of trucks. And it's kind of strange considering, you know, it's just a reservoir. Why would you need, you know, such large trucks carrying goods and like food and stuff? And, you know, he's kind of speculating the same idea. Yeah, exactly. But like, we kind of speculate the fact that like, it might actually be a bunker. And I know it sounds a little bit eccentric, but this idea it could actually possibly be. Um, there, there, yeah, right there. there. Yep, there is cameras literally everywhere, and this entire area is all fully defensed up. Actually, uh, someone that I actually know was recently down here, and like an ass, and they apparently pushed one of the doors trying to open it because they believed the same of us that it might be a bunker, and uh, the alarm went straight off. So this place is still like a completely running and functional place. Um, there's always lights over in that little kind of like that little tower in the island, and like or a tower in yeah, the, I guess the middle of the water over there. There every single night is always lights going off there, and um, like someone's always in that building, which is like incredible because if you think about it, I mean, <laughs> I don't know it's just. It's crazy, like to be stuck over there. Um, I don't know, I'm guessing there's a way out, obviously, under the ground or something, all the way up to the other side of the actual reservoir gate. Um, but you know, still, nonetheless, a little bit strange. But you guys, as you can see down here, we're just into the water right now. Gonna get a couple more photos and uh, look for some gold nuggets. Hopefully, find some guys. Bless us, bless us, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So hmm, let's do it. Hey. All right, guys. So we are back. Now you can probably see the water in the background. Right now, I'm currently back at the first place we started. Right now, guys, and um, we went up to the mega reservoir. Went to the St. Mary's Lock area where everybody was sitting. I think we're gonna, I've got a bit, uh, you know, a clip of that. Probably end up showing that maybe after this, or maybe already just showing it. Um, but we did go there, guys. It was way too busy though. So my dad and me were like, you know what? We'll stay for you know 10, 20 minutes, whatever we did, and then we'll just head. Uh, but I went to water. I didn't. It was just way too busy. We're talking like maybe a couple hundred people were there. Uh, you know, campers, actual general, just children, everyone was just there, it was packed. Um, so my dad's like, you know, we'll come back to this place because this is the place that he loves the most and by far it's probably the best. There's my dad back there. Um, but you yeah, guys, that's us back here. So just giving you guys that little update. We're going to quickly, well, just not quickly, we're going to sunbathe right now. And uh, once we're done doing that, probably show you guys some more and uh, do some more. So guys, I'm currently right now, as we speak, just actually up from uh, where we parked up over there. It's kind of just behind those trees where that kind of car is passing right now. Um, my God. Sorry, I'm out of breath, guys. Just to run up a little hill here, but uh, yeah, guys, this is uh, where I'm right now. What the hell is that? Yo, is that? Yo, anyone else seen this? I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. Things are running like crazy. Hold up. Nah, man, that thing is going crazy up the mountain. What the hell is that? <laughs> I'm, I can't be the only one seeing this. Everybody watch right now. I'm not even playing right now. Like, genuinely try and zoom in, like, take screenshots and zoom in. It's on the hill. It's like a llama on Fortnite. I know it sounds dumb, but somewhere over there. It's right there, you guys see that? What the freak? <laughs> anyway, 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 get back on topic. So right here guys, I'm at the top of actually where we were. Now I already told you guys at the beginning, like this originally this spot was where my dad camped when he was younger, um, when he was a little boy really. Um, him and his brothers and sisters and his dad and his mom and stuff always just come here and camp and uh, just stay here for like ages because uh, this area you were allowed to camp on before those trees and stuff were there. Um, but obviously people started, you know, dumping stuff and making, I guess, all a mess, so yeah. Uh, that, that wasn't allowed after a while but guys i'm up here right now and this part up here the reason why i'm up here guys is because my dad um, originally told me years ago he's always told me about this place and i've been here a few times but he originally told me about this specific part here that i've never seen before now originally the story goes my dad and his mates uh, he's in his mid-20s at this point right 
No, I'm not going to say my dad doesn't like to have a good laugh because he really does, but my dad likes to, I guess, take it to the next level when it comes to suntans and stuff. Um, you guys probably seen how he looks. He's, you know, my dad's a white guy, and right now he literally looks like he's very dark skinned. And it's just for the fact being, he loves to be in the sun. Uh, he doesn't believe in anything like uh, freaking skin cancer or anything. He does not literally care at all. But the story goes, guys, right? Originally, my dad is mate Ali. Um, I think one of them was called Warrior or something. A few of the other guys that he had friends wise, they all come up here. Now, they've done this before, but they all come up here this time specifically. Now, they're up here. It's a really hot day. They're all getting sunstroke. And my dad's still not caring. My dad's got sunstroke and tripping balls. My dad does not give a hell. My dad, <laughs> he just doesn't care. He just care more about the sun. So, my dad's just sitting here. They're all chilling. And they're in this area right here. They're apparently inside a circle and a dip and a hill. And I'm like, where, where could this be? And this is my first time genuinely here right now. And check this little place out, guys, right? My dad stayed here apparently for 14 hours or something in the sun, completely just like literally, the only thing he had on was his shorts, t-shirt, everything off, like he just did not care in the sun. The dude came back, <laughs> sun stroked, pure cook with all his mates and stuff, not even a care in the world, and I'm not even playing guys, this place is freaking awesome, look at this. This is all well hit, like literally, you, can, you can't see this from the road, that's what my dad said, I've got to be careful for the farmer just in case, because uh, obviously, you know, I don't want to be uh, being a bit of a dick, you know. But this place is, it's just awesome. Like, I'm so in love with this place. The sky is pure blue today. It's like, like literally one or two, maybe even three or four clouds. Like, there's barely, like, there's very, barely any, really. But, like, just, wow, look at this amazing place. I mean, I know for some, it's like, oh, Joe, come on, man. It's just a field with a couple, you know, stone dike walls around it. Yeah, a little hot. Like, what, what does it matter, man? Just stop, you know, over-exaggerating. But I guess for me, it means a lot more because the fact that I've been, like, I grew up all my life getting told stories about, like, this kind of, not this spot, yeah, this specific place. Um, not always just this place, though. But uh, just a lot of different kind of stories in general. That's all <laughs> swampy, I've got to be careful. Um, but, like, it's so cool actually seeing it. But it's also the fact that, like, this is just so nice. Like, I know about everybody else who watches my vlogs or videos and all, but I just love nature. Like, it's it's just one of those things I really do. I love, like, I just love nature in general. And when it comes down to it, like, this is just amazing. Like, look at this place here. Like, what the hell? Hello? <laughs> Hello? I don't want to mess with it too much. I don't want to start flipping my camera around either because then the camera angle changes and I'll start messing up on camera. I can't be, I'm not even going to explain it. It's just a pain in the ass. Um, but yo, guys, I'm just thinking right now, by the way, another thing I was thinking about doing just before I started recording, right? What if, just for the shits and giggles, as I would say, just for the views, just for, not for the actual views, I mean, on YouTube, I mean, the views in general is like being able to see stuff. What what if I climbed up that mountain right there? And I mean, I know it sounds a little bit eccentric, a little bit domino, but I really do want to go up to the top of it. I just love climbing. And I mean, like I've already been up to the top of the other big ones around here. Um, actually, when I was last year, my dad's girlfriend and uh, her kids and stuff, when we were actually camping here, because we camped here a while ago, not here specifically, it was actually um, a lot further down. We were actually up on one of the mountains, I think it's that one right over there, the biggest one you probably see off the tip, right over there. Um, I actually climbed up to the very top of it with uh, her kids and stuff and we all just kind of went up there with my, my mate Ali, um, his little sister and me, we all just kind of climbed up the mountain just for a, a good laugh, um, which was pretty insane and then got chased by cows when we got down, but I know, I just, I like the idea of climbing up there. I know guys, anyway, I'm also going to go probably dive in the water because it's really hot right now, it's like, I know, 20, I know, 25, 26 degrees, it's going on 30 guys, it's, it's not shy, it's turning 30, my arms are turning brown, if not red, and uh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit hot, so I think we're going to just uh, dive in the water and uh, yeah, do that. Alright guys, so what is going on? Uh, sorry if the wind starts to interfere with the phone right now, it's starting to, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Um, I know it looks like trash right now, my hair and stuff, uh, it's just t-shirt and stuff I was wearing underneath my uh, my shirt. And my hair's all over the place, I'm not wearing my hat. Yo, I'm not even joking guys, I've just woke up, it's 5 o'clock right now. Um, I've actually been asleep, like just face, like not face down, uh, on my back, my face just totally like towards the sun and everything. Um, topless, I'm just not care, just trying to get a tan guys. And uh, you can see my dad back uh, right there, that's my dad. <laughs> my dad just wandering around, he's been swimming, he's been in the deepest part, like the global channel right over there, you can't actually see right now because of the camera angle. Uh, hold up, there we go, right there, right there. Uh, there's a big deep pool and it's like, I don't know, about maybe, I, I was going to say six feet, that's been a big centric, maybe about four or five feet. Um, so my dad's been in there and stuff, he's been in and out of the water, but yeah guys, so I fell asleep for about 30, 40 minutes, I'm not even joking. Um, after the previous clip of me being up on the hill, just finding me up there, um, what happened was I came back down, I couldn't find my dad, so I'd walk down the road, so I was like, yo, where are you, where are you, where are you, we found each other, he was way up there, uh, he had walked up, so I went this damn wind, uh, he had walked up basically, guys, um, and just started looking around because uh, well, so while we're up here, he actually had one of his fishing traps up here and uh, what's it, he lost in the water, he left it here and then when he came back it was gone uh, but simply it was just because of water risen or rised or whatever uh, so we went up and he was having a look to see if we could see it couldn't see it obviously sadly so I don't know <laughs> it's my 
but I, <laughs> I couldn't see them sadly, so yeah, uh, we just left it. But we came back down, I laid down, I got drinks and stuff, and I was like, right, I want to go up that hill. I still want to do all that, and I genuinely still do one of my dad was like, yo, you don't understand, that's like a good hour or two walk, because it is, it looks a lot sm like smaller than what it actually is. When he was younger, he used to go up all the hills around about here, and now he's included that one. He said it is an amazing view from up there, but you know, it's a little bit much climbing up, so. I know, I might guys, I'm still not too sure. I kind of do want to though, just to fill in the video, add some more stuff into you guys to keep it, you know, going. Um, but again, guys, I'm not too sure. I don't want to kind of end the video on this kind of note. I'm not going to end the video yet because we aren't leaving yet, but it's currently, guys, 5 o'clock. We've been here since like, what, 12? Yeah, well, about, about 12 o'clock, guys. It's been, a, it's been a good few hours now, what, six, seven hours, yeah. Um, so, I'm not only 12, anyway, it's five hours. <laughs> I just thought it there. I was like, wait, no, it's, that's, that's 10. Uh, but yeah, we've been here since 12, guys, so we've been uh, a, a good five hours out in the sun. And again, it's still spotless outside, it's really nice. The wind's picking up a little bit, though, but it's lovely, the wind. I've not, I've not been in swim or anything straight up front. I was going to record it, guys, but I just literally, I was like, I don't want to get myself totally, like, drenched and, like, cold with water. I mean, it's not cold, but, you know, the water isn't exactly warm. It's, uh, it, it's mildly warm, I would say. It's not warm or it's not cold, you know. It's in that kind of middle part where it's still, like, it's... It's just warm enough that you can feel a slightly comfortable on it, but it's just not that warm where you can really want to stay in it for too long, if you know what I mean. It's, it's just not that warm, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah guys, that's it. So I've been out sun now for about 30, 40 minutes, so just sitting cooking like I sleep. Uh, I just woke up, got a drink of sun, I just thought I'd record you guys and uh, record this for you guys and give you guys a quick update. Um, just let you guys know what's going on. But you guys, that's it. We're uh, probably going to do some more stuff. I don't know what exactly specifically we're going to do. I think I do want to still go to and I'm probably going to try and persuade my dad if we can. If we can, we can, but I'm going to try and persuade him uh, to see what he says. Uh, people racing up and down here just constantly, guys. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you guys on the next battle. Hopefully, we're going to the mountain. If not, nonetheless, it's still pretty good. I'm sure we'll be doing something pretty fun. <laughs> be sad if it's able to, but yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, see you guys on the next level. Alright guys, so listen, I know I just kind of called in the last part of the video in the last little clip. Alright guys, currently right now it's half past five, we're just kind of getting ready to head actually, this car's slowing down right now to get past. Uh, but right now guys, we're currently just kind of getting ready to uh, head. I said it's half past five, been on for what, five and a half hours now? About five and a half, six hours. And uh, nah, that's been nice, like I said, but right now in the next, I want that kind of point out. Um, I don't know if you guys know what midges are, if you're in the, you know, the US or anything, I guess you will have them, but probably not as bad as us. But midges are these little bugs that like persistently love to bite you. Um, if you're from the United Kingdom, you will know what these little things are. They are the biggest pain in Scotland or anywhere in the UK. But midges are like these little bugs that come out of the trees, they stay there and at night time they come out to feed and they just eat everything. And if it comes to you, if you have a really light kind of, if you have, a, a, yeah, they come right to your skin and they'll just start biting you and nipping you. Um, it's certain blood types and stuff and they have nip me and shit so it's a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, it's like a mosquito but it doesn't do as much damage but... Yeah, it's like having billions of mosquitoes, but tiny little ones um, biting you, and you get a bunch of little red blotches. Yeah, you got to right, you got, you have to let a fly out, fly a fire and stuff to actually get rid of them, which I'm massive in the ass to actually smoke them out, kind of thing, because that's the only thing that they don't like. But that's it, right here where we are. Although this place is lovely, the only one main issue is right beside us. Those trees will have a bunch of them in there. We've been here, and I've been here once before at night with my dad fishing, and this place really does become a massive haven for midges. So, about to head back now, get some food. I'll end the video once I'm back at the actual house, guys. But yeah, I said it's been a great video so far. Nonetheless, even if we didn't get to go up the mountain, I'm definitely going to be coming back to challenge a mountain sometime soon. But yeah, guys, we've had a we've had a great day. Keep my feelings aside